Thank you today for joining us on this summer Saturday morning. We gather here today and grieve the untimely loss of the Bronze Dominion Law taken from us in its prime. It had a very eventful life, unlike the world. We were very unfortunate to see it ultimately became its unlucky 13 years. But let us not mourn the death of the Bronze Dominion Law. Let us instead celebrate its unlucky and all the terrors and joys that it brought to the people and the city of Toronto. The Toronto Zombie Walk began on a cold, gray October afternoon in 2003. It's been a great honor and to see it spread like a plague year after year, to see it grow from here, seven shambling zombies, to an unstoppable horde, 15,000 strong, only after a dozen years. The epidemic proportions of undead spreading from city to town, from country to continent, to know that this simple random gathering, in fact, most towns all over this continent, you can find these on the law. You can find them in Europe, Asia, the Middle East, Africa. You can find them all over South America, Central America, Australia. Why, the only area of this planet we have not infested with the undead would be Antarctica. But there are only a few people there anyway. We'll get them. <laughs> It has been kept alive year after year through the hard work, tenacity, and vision of our founder, Peter Munster, and the Toronto Zombie Walk Board of Directors. It's also been kept alive through the hard work of the volunteers and many members past and present. It has been kept alive through the donations Sponsors, vendors, even a simple lowliest zombie making a donation. It has kept the undead out of their graves and on the streets for over a dozen years, and I think that is something to be truly proud of. Who are you? And that's why I say it's most important that the zombie walk is kept alive by you. The ravenous board I see before me today it has been kept alive by, also by the firm direction of our zombie security team, who, without very firm direction, we would all end up like being a heat um, in the way. But the, the simple zombies that have come together from all corners of the city, from the outlying towns, from everywhere that they can crawl, lurch, and walk from, have turned the city into a wondrous and dreadful undead congregation. <laughs> We've had you walk through rain, storms, sweltering heat, and blistering cold. Without all of us here today, the walk could not have survived as long as it has. What, and even, even from newest, freshest zombie in their first year to the moldering, shambling corpse who has come back year after year. All of you, all of you, you should give us a moan to. Yes, yes, moan. <laughs>
comes to such an untimely end. Not from that shot wounds to the head, dry rot. From a reverse incantation to send us all back to our graves, or a hail of fire coming out of the skies. However, from all, all endings, maybe possible beginnings as well. And have we not gotten back up and walked the earth before after dropping the dead? Who's to say that we will never be resurrected again? But for now, we must return to the cold confines of the grave. As we transition from death, life to death, God might back to death again, and maybe <laughs> Perhaps more organized, hungrier for the flesh of the living than ever before. We have lasted terrible, terrible weathers and financial hardships, the threats from, inside, from outside, protesters, zombie hunters, the lack of edible rains, <laughs> taxis that refuse to give zombies a ride, <laughs> <laughs> and the endless litany, I'm sure you've all heard. It's not Halloween yet, it is always Halloween in our hearts. <laughs> the Toronto Zombie Walk is proud to have everyone on its board, regardless of gender, age, sexual orientation, religious belief, physical appearance, political beliefs, subculture, even if they weren't human. As it grew, it opened, welcomed all into its ranks. In later years, we saw werewolves, vampires, ghosts, mummies, and all creatures of the night join us in marching through the streets of Toronto, looking for fresh victims and fresh fun. Zombies are well known to be ravenous and relentless, but we would also like to remind everyone attend in attendance that zombies are also a noble creature. They do not argue among themselves. They aren't concerned with drama or possessions. They all work together as a horde for a common goal, to eat all of the living. As we say goodbye to this zombie event, we implore you not to say goodbye, even though you're saying goodbye <laughs> to yourself. But don't say goodbye to your zombie selves. They will all, your inner zombie will always be a part of you, drooling in the corner, munching on some forgotten intestine. Why, this isn't a costume. It is truly a way of life. We have had many memorable moments at the Toronto Zombie Walk. We've seen zombies and Mothers Against Violence dance in unison to the strains of Michael Jackson's Thriller. We have all attended the zombie wedding between myself and Taylor Munster who stands beside me. We have had many fabulous guests, George, John Russo and Russ Ryan from Night of Living Dead. Odor Sorokas Kumar himself threw a severed head to the zombies. We have left almost every square inch of this city a bloody mess. From Trinity Bellwoods Park to Nathan Phillips Square, we have seen zombies march down Queen and Young through the financial districts of Bay Street and into Chinatown, Kensington Market, in the Annex, and Parkdale. The zombies reign supreme during the days of the zombie walk. To be in a packed theater surrounded by the undead, to be Thrilled that you never knew who was going to show up or, or what could happen at a Toronto Zombie Walk, and that everyone and anyone were free to attend is, is what made it truly special. It was an event open to everyone. Now, for all of you who have a memory of the Toronto Zombie Walk, I implore you to please leave it within our coffin and castle with the decaying corpse of the zombie, drawing the zombie, if you will. <laughs> and if you have, if you have such a memory, we, we're reading it for tickets to the Canadian National Exhibition so we can spread the zombie terror one last time. <laughs> 